Live from Seattle, Washington, it's The Cube at Tableau Conference 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Tableau. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Welcome back, everybody. We're here live in Seattle at the Tableau Conference 2014. I'm Jeff Kelly. You're watching theCUBE. Uh, so, of course, a big focus for Tableau is their partner ecosystem. From uh, on the big data side, of course, there's a number of partners that are important to Tableau. One of them, of course, is Cloudera. We've got David Tischgart, who is the Director of Product Marketing from Cloudera, joining us now on theCUBE. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me, Jeff. Uh, so we were just talking before we went on. So you came over to Cloudera, Cloudera from the Gazang uh, acquisition, which was just a few months ago. That's right. It was in it was in June. So so t yeah, talk a little bit about that experience from uh, coming from Gazang, where you were focused on very much on the Hadoop security question. That's right. Uh, moving over to Cloudera, where certainly security uh, for Hadoop is important. Um, and, you know, about the time of that acquisition, it was around Hadoop Summit time, and we were there with the Cube, and there was a lot of talk around kind of what I would call enterprise grade features, right. security being one of them. Um, talk about the experience kind of coming from Gazang yeah. and now being part of Cloudera. Yeah, so, so I think really the, the timing was really interesting because what it shows was really maturity in the Hadoop market. So this is not a new technology, although it might seem new by technology, by technology years, but it's really been around since you know, the you know, late 2000s, right? So 2006, 2008, um, or I guess the late aughts is the right way I'd say it, right? So, um, but what's happened now is, is uh, Hadoop pilots have started to move into production. Uh, those you know, nosy guys from InfoSec and compliance have started to butt their heads into the mix and said, um, okay, great, so where is this data again? What's Hadoop? How are you going to secure this? Who has access to it? All these questions start getting asked and all of a sudden the architects who, and the developers who are so excited to put this Hadoop project into place are now saying, ooh, um, I should probably uh, take a look at what I'm really doing here. So uh, around that time, Gazang had really had, you know, formed partnerships with a number of the NoSQL and Hadoop distributions, Cloudera um, obviously being the biggest, and uh, certainly for us, we had the most uh, common uh, customers. Uh, these are companies that are really, really large financial services organizations and large uh, healthcare organizations that have uh, requirements around HIPAA, around PCI, uh, some organizations over in Europe have data privacy regulations that they needed to meet. And the chief requirement for meeting all those things is making sure that the data is encrypted at rest and that the keys are managed separate from the data. Cloudera saw this as an opportunity to really differentiate their product by saying, okay, you know what? This is something that across the board as we go into production, we recognize that our customers are going to need. So let's and, and, and Cloudera was leading on security with Century and a number of other, a number of other products. So they pulled uh, Gazang into the product mix and now uh, encryption is available to Gazang customers and key management is available to Gazang customers and that's really, really unique for, unique for Hadoop, frankly, mm -hmm. at this point. So actually I want to dig into that a little bit more. So sure. for, for our viewers who don't, maybe aren't you know, security experts, we say key management's critical for the yeah. key to be managed separate from the data. What, what, what does that mean? Break that down for us. Yeah, yeah, the best way I can explain key management is if you think about what you do when you lock your house or you lock your car, you don't leave your key in the door, you take it with you, you secure it. I mean, granted you're securing it in your pocket, but it's still a way of doing key management, um, so to speak. The way your people are securing data right now is they'll encrypt it and then they'll put the key either you know, in a file on the same server, they don't know, or, or it's in a spreadsheet that's unmanaged, they don't know how to manage it properly. So an unmanaged key, um, a key that's not encrypted itself and stored on a separate server is incredibly vulnerable and if your key is breached, you, know, you may as well just hand it over your data to mm -hmm. a hacker. So that's, that's what we talk about when we say key management. Okay, um, and I mean, clearly with everything happening in the news with the, the Home Depot data breach now kind of top of mind, it's, it's, it's clearly yeah. uh, you know, an issue that people have to start thinking about. And it has the ability, I mean, when you think about security and not being able to, you know, if, if you don't secure your data, it's going to be a kind of a monkey wrench for the whole big data right. space, right? Um, because you know, you've got jurisdictions around the world that have different rules, and if you can't meet those requirements, yeah. 
all those POCs are moving to production. Right, it's, it's really hard and, and, and just navigating the ins and outs of security. And by the way, encryption and key management is just one part of a very, very <laughs> comprehensive security strategy that you have to have. So just navigating that and knowing, okay, so uh, my company is based in Switzerland, but I have customers in China. Um, what are the requirements there? You know, if, if, I'm do, if I'm, you know, in California and I've got customers over in, in, in Europe and Germany, especially Germany is very, very rigid about their privacy mm -hmm. rules. You know, what do I do? How do I, how's the data? Where do I need to keep it? So really understanding all these nuances is really, really important. And, and you're going to get those questions. You can't dodge them. So as you're thinking about big data and how you're going to stand up um, your infrastructure, you need, to, you need to have that in the back of your mind because you can't put uh, production level sensitive data, um, names, addresses, phone numbers, social security numbers, yeah. things like that. You can't put that into a production level Hadoop database unless that data is secure. Um, so you want to bring in, uh, so you, you need somebody that knows how to talk to InfoSec, you need somebody that knows how to talk to compliance. That needs to be a requirement um, as you're you know, moving into production with Hadoop. Yeah, I think it's, it's one of those areas for the, when yeah. I look at the Hadoop ecosystem and the vendor community, they've got a, you know, the, the conversation was all about the, you know, the guts of Hadoop for so long. Yeah. And you, you know, if you, you know, in order for vendors like Cloudera and others to really be enterprise grade, software vendors, you've got to be able to speak the That's security right. language, the governance language, and all the other really maybe not so sexy stuff of big data analytics, but critical. Right, I mean it's hard work to get there, but, but you, need to, you need to be thinking about, you need to be thinking about all those steps, right? Yeah. Because you don't want to move to 99% and then all of a sudden, you know, your, your project gets kicked to the curb because it didn't, it, you know, you didn't have the right access controls configured. You didn't have that governance and lineage. You didn't have that encryption. So it's just, it's just something to, to think about. And interestingly, you know, we're at the Tableau conference right now, and I love being here because we are so used to talking to IT developers, architects, and these are the end users that are going to benefit from a integration with, with Tableau and Cloudera. But these, and these are guys that are doing just amazing analytics but they're not going to get a chance to see all this data and all these great visualizations if the data is not secure on the back end. So, you know, in all the conversations I've had today, that's, that's come up a number of times. Great, talk to me about security. I love what you guys are doing, talk to me about security. Yeah. So, so for the end users, it's really, really important. Yeah, absolutely. So, as you mentioned, we're here at Tableau, so we go from kind of the enterprise grade yeah. at the, the foundation of big data up to the, the top of the stack with the visualization. Talk a little bit about what you guys are doing with Tableau. Um, you know, Tableau's in this interesting position where they are, you know, obviously a great product, but they're also the beneficiaries of this kind of big data wave, and they're kind of sitting on top and serving as that visualization layer for any number of underlying right. infrastructure. Talk about Cloudera's approach to visualization, what you guys are doing with Tableau specifically. Yeah, so, so what we're all about with, uh, you know, Cloudera is really bringing all the data to bear for the analysts and for the end users. So if you've got data right now that's, um, you know, moving from one siloed database to a, to a data warehouse to another siloed database, whatever it might be, um, you, wanna, you wanna make sure that, that the analysts are able to get access to it, um, you know, without any sort of impediment. That should be, they should be able to have unfettered access to the data they need to, to ask, you know, better, bigger questions and improve decision making and things like that. So what we're talking about is, is landing as much of your important data or all your data, you know, however you want to set it up, as you can into um, our enterprise data hub. And you know, we integrate with, uh, with all sorts of data warehouses and with, with uh, relational databases and, and really any kind of system that's in your existing infrastructure. Um, you know, we do this so that uh, you know, as, as, as uh, customers need to query, query their data, uh, to, to get those, uh, to get those, you know, that business intelligence out of mm -hmm. it, um, you know, that that's really what's that's really what's important to us. So we've kind of we've set up this uh, this data hub that you know integrates with with Tableau, integrates with with your common ETL tools on on the on the back end to allow this really nice and easy flow mm -hmm. of information to the end users. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, so you, we were talking earlier, so you, you're managing kind of marketing for a lot of the, the software partners, right? right? So that includes uh, the BI layer, data integration. I'm curious, just maybe not Tableau specific, but just generally speaking, what is the approach of the BI vendors to big data? Because actually, maybe even leaving Tableau out because they're kind of yeah. the newer, modern approach to BI. You've got kind of the legacy vendors that are, grew up in this world of 
you know, a structured, very structured, rigid right. data model in the enterprise uh, data warehouse, and they kind of fit very nicely on top of that, like a puzzle, and they answer questions that you've already kind of asked. You know what the questions are before you, know, yeah. you model that in your warehouse, and then, you know, the BI applications were built for that world. How are they adapting, in your opinion, to this new world of Hadoop big data where you're loading all sorts <laughs> of data? Some, some have no structure whatsoever. Yeah. You're asking questions that are, you know, very ad hoc. How, is, how are the BI vendors I, I adapting? Think it's, I think it's really exciting. So we we work with a number of other a number of other vendors. We work with the uh, BI vendors. Like I said, we, we work with uh, you know the, the data warehouse guys too. And, and the, what we're trying to tell them is, hey, you know what? Just think of us as you know you think of your other systems, right? We're we're another piece to the to the puzzle, allowing you to to get access to data that you couldn't have access to before. So you can take you can take these structured, rigid data sets that you're normally used to querying, and now you can bring in your, your uh, click streams and your social data, your machine logs, what, what have you, and combine it in there to get some interesting insights. So I was just in a session with one of our joint customers. Um, I, won't, I won't name the name, but uh, it's a travel company, um, you know, business, uh, corporate travel, and one of the cool scenarios that, that he talked about was, um, you know, we all have been through SFO at one time or another, and I think almost 100% of us who've traveled in SFO have gotten fogged out at some point in time. The airport's closed and they had to go be shuttled over to Oakland or something mm -hmm. like that to, to catch another flight. Well, what if you, what if you know, there was a way to predict um, fog rolling in as opposed to you know, finding out an hour later that your flight's been canceled and it's not going to be rescheduled? So what if we could predict that weather event and rebook you on another flight and figure out a way to show for you to the nearest airport based on what the traffic looks like to get from SFO to that airport. So you're now pulling data from a bunch of different sources. You've got your weather data, you've got your, you know, your traffic data, you've got you know, flight um, information and, and, and uh, um, you know, that, that point of sale system that you know, allows you to, to book um, flights. So, all of these disparate systems, they have to pull data from and then model it, and they model it in, in Tableau and try and figure out, okay, what's the optimal way to get you from point A to point B in the least, least amount of time? That is a really cool Hadoop problem that involves a number of disparate systems all working together, and so we kind of, I like to think that we're the center of that, we can help make that happen. Um, it doesn't mean that we are replacing any of the other systems in there. In fact, we're optimizing them to make them work Mm -hmm. That much better. So, so let's dig into the relationship with Tableau a little bit more. What um, I mean, do, do you see eye to eye? Do you think with the kind of the philosophy of Tableau, they're very very much focused on customers. I know that's a, right. obviously an important part of Cloudera's uh, approach as well to be very customer focused. Uh, what's the partnership? Uh, what are the dynamics with the partnership? How deeply do you go in terms of the technology uh, reseller arrangements? What's 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 the real uh, nitty gritty? Yeah. So what we find is that a customer um, a customer that's running Tableau on top of Cloudera is almost 100% of the time a incredibly happy customer. When, when, I, when I talk to uh, you know, people inside our organization and our sales team, and, and you know, they're, they're, uh, they've got a, a Cloudera customer and they're looking to see what's next for them, hey, you know what, get, run ta get, tab get that customer to use Tableau, to check it out. That is, a, that is a great way to look at your data. So the things we have with them, uh, we've got a, a an ODBC connector, but more importantly, uh, we've got a tool called Impala. Mm -hmm. you, might have, you might have heard about that. We launched it a couple years ago, and this is a way to do really, really high-speed um, high queries on data. Um, a lot of folks are used to uh, running SQL queries. This is, this is like doing that, but on all of your data. So it's, it's a really fast way to get analytics out of, out of um, Cloudera and into Tableau. Um, when Christian gave his keynote earlier today, he talked about speed being you know, really, really important. And that's what we're enabling for Tableau customers, the speed to get data out of the data source and into Tableau. Yeah, well, I think performance is, is really important when it comes right. to, if you're, if you're going to try to do iterative analytics, if you're going to try to do iterative visualizations to try to answer a problem, you don't want to have to sit there and, and as Christian said during that, you know, kind of watching the, the wheel turn, you want kind of that real time interactive capabilities, and the whole SQL on Hadoop approach is really bringing that to, well, bringing that to Hadoop, where in the past, right. it was really not possible to do that. So, uh, I guess looking forward, what's kind of your strategy? Now that you're, you're part of the Cloudera organization, you've had a few <laughs> months, a few months, I'm sure you're totally up to speed yeah. now, right? So, Got it all. Right, so what's, what's <laughs> on the roadmap for you guys? I mean, how do you look at this market? 
um, from the yeah. from the BI and the data integration uh, point of view, and, and what's, what yeah. are some of the key things for you, key initiatives for you and your organization over the next six, 12 months? Yeah, so we're, we're creating an open partner ecosystem. We want to make sure that every, every vendor out there um, that is you know, in the data management space or is, any sort of, is on the periphery of data management um, understands what we do and the value we can bring as, as this data hub that's, that's now getting stood up in a lot of enterprise um, data architectures. So uh, we're working with a number of vendors across across the board, large and small, to you know, enable them to you know, extract value from, from the data that companies are storing in Cloudera. So I mean, that's, that's one thing. We're just going to continue to work with partners, uh, you know, do these high-speed connectors so that companies, not just using Tableau, but that might be using you know, SAP, SaaS, what have you, all these other um, systems, and certainly all the data integration vendors. We want to make sure that you know, they've got super fast connections um, into, into Cloudera. Um, you know, as a company, we're, we're really focused on, on growth. Um, you know, we, we had a really big year this year, obviously, with uh, the, the announcement of the, the Enterprise Data Hub, you know, early, um, early in the year, um, and then taking down the money from Intel, um, which has, you know, really infused the organization, the Xang acquisition earlier in the summer, and now we're looking towards, towards Hadoop World because there's a lot of big announcements that you know, I don't want to spoil, but uh, you know, we'll be hearing about them in a month or so. So yep. there's a, a lot's already happened and there's a lot more to come. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I guess kind of last question, this, this could be a question for Cloudera or for Tableau. Um, maybe, you can, maybe you can answer for both or, or maybe give some advice to Tableau. You know, they're, they're in some this hyper growth phase. Yeah. Cloudera likewise with the, with the, uh, the cash injection from Intel, um, among other things, just the, just, just the general market. Um, the pace of the market. Both companies growing quickly. Yeah. And I mentioned being very customer focused. So remaining customer focused when you're growing at this speed can be a challenge. What is your approach to, to, from Cloudera's perspective to maintaining that really uh, close contact with the customer? Yeah. And then any advice to Tableau as they're kind of going through a similar uh, period? Man, I, I'll tell you, our customer interactions have been key to where we are today, right? We don't, we don't get there, we don't get to that, you know, nine out of 10 uh, customer satisfaction rating you know, by not talking to customers. So we've got a number of different folks in our organization that interact with customers. It's um, you know, hardly just sales. We've got a great support, we've got a great uh, technical um, uh, services organization. We've got uh, training. Um, one of the cool things actually, if you don't mind, there's a, uh, an interesting story on, on Tableau. Um, so we do uh, predictive and, and uh, proactive support. And what I mean by predictive support, which is actually really cool, I don't think we talk about it enough, is um, so Cloudera Manager, which is a you know, management tool that allows you to do configurations and monitoring of your, of your cluster, um, you know, generates a ton of data, a ton of log data, right? And so customers who opt in to allow us to capture that data um, you know, we, can, we can compile it and model it. So we have our own enterprise data hub stood up in our environment. So, you know, I'm, in, I'm from Texas, so I'll say we drink our own margaritas, <laughs> right? Or we drink our own tequila shots. Um, so, uh, we, uh, we use our enterprise data hub to collect all of this data from Cloudera Manager about customer environments, and we can tell, um, you know, we visualize everything up in Tableau, and we can actually tell how uh, a cluster is running if a customer is, you know, is, is running well, if it, or if it uh, you know, needs some work, or if it's about to go down, if there's, an, if there's some, some sort of urgent thing that needs to happen, we'll proactively call customers and say, hey, by the way, you need to do this, this, and this um, to get your cluster you know, back in working order. And when we've done that, we've seen like a 35 to 40% uh, drop in mean time to recovery for any cluster that goes down. So, so um, you know, Great story about Enterprise Data Hub, about customer support, and about using Tableau to, you know, service our customers. Mm. Well, that's a that's a great uh, great story. I mean, we were talking to Tableau uh, during the day today, they talked about using Tableau to yeah. build the product, to build Tableau, and you're using similarly using uh, Cloudera's uh, Enterprise Data Hub to support your customers. I think right. that's a good approach because obviously, we talk about sources of big data. Well, guess what? Hadoop clusters actually produce a lot <laughs> of big data. Lot, they produce a lot of data, which by the way needs to be secured. Exactly. So they, just 
just to go and visualize. And, so just yeah. really, let's close the loop here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, David Tishkart from Cloud Era, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. Uh, we'll, hope, we'll see you again uh, soon, maybe even in New York. Uh, Absolutely. A lot, of, a lot of action gonna be happening there in about a month, so. Uh, again, thanks for coming on. You're watching theCUBE, we'll be right back live from Tableau Conference 2014 in Seattle.